Winners Talking. We're here, hey, we're here with the big dogs. It's Winners Talking podcast, but we're here with the Vibe with Five guys, mm-hmm. legends in the game. Come, big baller Rio Ferdinand. Big baller Joel Bayer. Jeez. They didn't know I used to play, you know. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Top <laughs> level Sunday League football. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen Joel play a couple times, yeah. you know. Centre back, innit? Yeah, yeah. Now, no, 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 but as soon as the season starts, is it the, season, the week before? Yeah, no, I say, like yeah, no, not Community Shield, uh, first game of the season. That's when it's going down. We're back and big guests this year. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah, we got yeah. some big guests coming, man. Like, yeah. like real big guests. We're traveling, we're going out of, outside of England. International, International, yeah. speaking mm-hmm. to enough people, but some real like, people that I'm sure your audience want to hear from as well. So, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone wants to go out All the guys are locked in. All the guys are locked in, but we can expect some of them big. I can imagine some of the names you're bringing mm, to the no, table. No, definitely. You know, it's mad. We travel about mm. and, like, we get, I get now almost as much people chatting about what I've done at United to what, oh, who's coming on Viber 5? Yeah, we well, got this yeah, week. Yeah, oh, yeah, what yeah, about yeah. that happened last week? And yeah. so it's nice to see that kind of recognition yeah, yeah. for what you're doing when you're doing Transition something like this. Over. Mm. this. It's part of the culture now as well. 100%. Mm. You know what I mean? 100%. And you guys are consistent and driven with it. And mm. that's what I kind of wanted to talk to you about as well. The drive and the mentality um, to now bring it over to this, but in general that you, mm. you move with on a day to day. Like I was telling you before, I sent you as we were walking in. We, we, we come on a train in it together. Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. <laughs> I sent you as we were walking in. Right, I'll tell you the story I said I was going to say. The first time I see you, right, they used to talk about you because you was the footballer kid at Black Kid Blue mm. Coats. So I'm on the bus, right, I'm coming back. I'm just on the bus after school. It might have been on like 53. 53, no, 53, yeah, Oak okay, yeah. Road. Right, there you go. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> I'm going yeah. to jump with Lucian. Yeah, yeah. But I'm on the bus, I'm sitting on the bus. Rio comes on. It's the first time I've seen him, but there was a couple of boys from John Rome. Like, you was at Blackie Blue Cops. They, was like, they were a year above me, but they were sitting there and you've come on. And they said, oh, there's that Rio Ferdinand. And you've come on. Rio's got a, um, a high top, like, <laughs> like Kid and Play. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, remember, yeah. For those that don't know Kid and Play, right? Go and look up the movie House yeah. Party. Go and see oh. Rio's come on. Big the high big top. Big, the big, big <laughs> boy yeah. high top. No games. Kid. No games. No games. games. No games. Yeah. Yeah. Come on with two girls. It was after school. You won't remember this because you probably experienced so many things, but to me, it's a memory. I was sitting there, and for some reason, these boys, they tried to kind of press you. And I always remember this. It was like they came, they wanted to bully you in a certain kind of way. For, for no reason, really. They just came up to you. And I always remember you, you turned around, and you stood up, and you basically said, like, listen, don't think because I'm on my, you, this is exactly what you said. You said, don't think because I'm on my Jack Jones that you're going to deal with me like this. <laughs> yeah, that was what you said. Because I always remember you saying the Jack Jones part. Yeah. Don't think because I'm on my Jack Jones you're going to deal with me like this. And he just held his own and then they just went and sat back down. <laughs> now, I remember sitting there looking at that and I thought, yeah, he's got character about him. Mm. He's got, he's, mm. and I, that, to me, I've always seen that translate as well with you on the football pitch. Mm. Yeah. I've not seen you overwhelmed by mm. occasion, Champions League finals or this, that, the other. Mm. Do you think that Whatever it was there, maybe it was coming from Pekka, maybe it was this, that mentality is part of the reason why you've been able to go through so many doesn't take and be calm in certain situations. Yeah, 100%. Like, I, I don't even remember that, you know, that's mad. It's funny though. But it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's more, you know, like, people always say that, does your upbringing kind of have any impact on your career? And, mm. and it's, the big moments in your career is about, mm. is about having balls. Mm. Like, who's got the biggest balls in the yeah. big situations? Mm. Or who can... Met, like manage their emotions in them big times with them them big moments mm. like on a bus and you're getting pressed mm-hmm. that's a big moment in your young life yeah, yeah, yeah. how you react there to, might yeah. determine how your next few months of your life goes and how so, people view you as well yeah, 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 yeah. 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 and so like it's the same with football that moment in like, the nine minutes is a moment in time that could have a big impact on where you go the next few months or the next yeah. few years of your career mm-hmm. so you've got to be able to handle that and I think those moments listen you, like you say you're travelling through different areas on a re- every day on a bus that you don't know who you're going to come into contact with mm-hmm. who's going to try and chat to you who's going to press mm-hmm. you whatever yeah. so you've got to have a certain like a level I ain't a bad man and I will mm-hmm. never try and p- p- mm-hmm. p- like, p- portray myself as that mm-hmm. but I would always stand up for myself mm-hmm. and like I don't want to be seen as like a dickhead like yeah, so yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and, and yeah. 
listen, if you've got to step back one time, you step back. But yeah. I weren't really, I, I was lucky I was from where I was. I always think that I'm lucky. People think, oh, it's unlucky to be, I was lucky to be born from there because yeah, it helped me in so many ways in my later life now. Yeah. Like confidence to walk into a room with strangers yeah. and chat. Yeah. Like just because I'm from an area like Peckham, I am, mm. but I'm still confident to go in there and talk. Yeah. And that's based because you walk into the, a, a cage as a young kid mm -hmm. on a different estate, mm -hmm. that is pressure. Mm -hmm. Pressure, yeah, come it's on. Mad pressure to yeah, do, yeah. go in there because one, you've got to perform, two, you've got to handle the banner, yeah. three, you don't know how, what could happen, it could kick off if someone rams you into the side of the cage yeah, and how yeah, you react yeah, yeah. then is always important. Mm -hmm. So all them, there's big like hurdles yeah. as a kid mm -hmm. that translate into later life. It's yeah. character building, that's mm. what I'm saying, it's character that's building. That's it, yeah. So that drive, do you feel is still in you to this day? And that's why you're still pushing on the way you are. Cause you've come out of football now to a degree, you're still mm. doing the punditry and this, but you still want more. You're not mm. like sitting back on your laurels. You think that's just something that's inside you? Yeah. Like, yeah. My mum and dad were grafters. Yeah. Like my dad used to travel from, from South Peckham, go all the way to like Dalston sides or Stoke Newton to work, come back, get me and my friends, take us to football in like Hanger Lane, yeah. end, of, end of the district line, West yeah. London. Yeah. Like, and then drop them off in Brixton and come back to ours at like yeah. one in the morning. Yeah. Like my mum was on the, on the estate helping other people and mm. part of the community and that. So I've always known what hard work is. So yeah. I want my kids to see that, simple, that's it. Yeah. Like, just, just to add as well, one of the things that surprises me till today when I work with Rio is his love for like five. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's just as big as the other stuff that he does. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when we're talking, I think, man, like this guy's got family, wife, everything, kids, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. but yet we'll be talking about what we're doing as if it's the only thing we're doing. And it's mm -hmm. and it's a drug, like we've got a million and one things going on, but mm -hmm. but the, that focus and drive, I just think, rah, you don't get a lot of people that have that passion, especially achieving everything that he's done. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think when you see things like that, you have no excuse. You ain't yeah. got an excuse to to be late or whatever it is because you're like, right, like I always say to Rio, I know he ignores me when I say this, but I say I could have played for Man United only because of mentality. Like, yes, you're not always gonna have it straight <laughs> away. Like, not, 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 not ability wise. Not ability wise. Not ability wise. No way, go on. Go on. Yeah, you can, go on. Because I feel like there's some people in this world, yeah, I've seen professional footballers, people who are in successful places and they've probably got there, but they haven't had to like work as hard. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you might've worked hard, but some people, they got a little bit lucky. It happens in life. Yeah. But I feel like to be able to stay somewhere and to work hard and to whatever, mm -hmm. I don't think everybody has that. And I think when when it all hits the fan sometimes, yeah, you get to see what people are really about. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's a lot of people, and I feel like a lot of people in this world are soft. They're in this certain positions, but they're not really, they're kind of soft. So I reckon when you, if you've got like a mentality, ability is one thing, but mentality can yeah, get you far. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? And I you have to be able to hang because you've got these people that have won everything, done everything. You can't tell some of these men, some of these greatest athletes that they ain't got mentality. You've got to go there and be able to like stand. If you can't stand, then I just don't think. Do you, think, do you think that's why you two work together so well? Because you've got similar similar mindsets as far as- I think work ethic. Done. Like work, work ethic, ethic is, a, is yeah. a big thing. Yeah. Like, that's why I, uh, when I see Joel, when I see you at a Hublot event in what you, when was that? Hublot? Was it Hublot event? No. Cheeky Sports? You yeah, was no, Dave, that, it David. Was, it was Hublot, bruv. I can't remember. In France? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was. How's my man forget? That's how he's living. That's how much he's traveling. That's how much he's living right now. Them Cuba have been saying, "Big deal, big deal, big deal." Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's because he's got a Rolex on. That's why. He's living. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Pele and Maradona were playing that day. One of the maddest things. Like, yes, they were like mad tired and that, but they were playing that day. One of the best events I've ever been to in my life. Sick day. Bear legends. Bear legends. But I see you there, and I. I kind of just, I saw your energy straight mm. away. And then we just kept in contact since yeah. then. And when the idea come up to do five, mm. he was the first person that I thought about. Cause, cause yeah. I thought like, he looks like he works hard, honest, yeah. humble guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a good I'm guy. A good guy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when Anton was on, on my platform, yeah, on our platform, he said that- I, I hooked that up by the way. He said that- <laughs> right, Yeah, you did, you did. You Big up Anton. Did. He said that yeah. when, he, when West Ham beat Man U that time, and he scored, he scored the head. Oh, yeah. I saw this. He I saw this. I saw this. He, yeah, said, yeah. he said, "You didn't come and see your family. You yeah. smashed up the changing room, and yeah. you went and you smashed up the wall." Yeah, smashed up the wall. 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 Smashed up the wall.
I understood it though, because the competitor in you, the competitor in you, <laughs> is that all facts or is there some cap in there? Did yeah, you no, just, was it Fergie that wouldn't let you go? Oh, so it no, was you. no, no. So, so when you come down with a team, yeah, yeah, you're normally ask the manager the day before, can I stay down? Didn't mm. have a Champions League game, so yeah, they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can. Mm. So, uh, so me and Anton, obviously, he's at West Ham. I played mm. there mm. at United, so all our family and friends. Yeah, we yeah. probably had like Top two up. boxes, 30, 40 people. Yeah, Boom, yeah, 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 people there. Yeah, all come in. And then the game plays, Anton scored, didn't it? And they beat us, I think, 2-1. It was a good header. Yeah, yeah. good header. Mm. But then afterwards, I'm thinking, there's no way I'm going up into that box for them for all just to do it. I don't want to don't want to see no one. I'm vexed <laughs> yeah. as it is. And I know Anton's going to be sitting there skinning yeah. teeth. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, loving like, it. Yeah, loving it. Like, waiting for me to come in there. <laughs> popping champagne. And, yeah, and looking in my eyes, like, are you all right? You're right, really. Like, yeah, yeah. And he would do it like, yeah. he wouldn't do it like a joke. He would go yeah. like, are you all right? Is everything all right? Like, and it would burn me even more. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just more, in, I thought I used to be in my pride was just too, Dented. I couldn't. Mm. I didn't want to say enough to like. And everyone, oh, you're right. Unlucky. I, no, I just said. Didn't even say nothing. Actually, I got on the bus mm. and we went back up to the train station. Mm. Went back to Manchester. I didn't speak to my dad for about three days. My dad was <laughs> belling me, yeah. texting me. Rio, yeah, what's yeah, going you're, on? You're, Why you're, are you? Yeah, yeah. And Anton was like, Rio, you, you're not coming. To, my mum even the same. And I just mm. didn't even chat. I couldn't chat to no one. I didn't want to mm. chat to no one because I knew like. I don't know, man. I, I was a bad loser. If you speak to all my teammates, I was a terrible loser. Like even in training pitch, mm, yeah. shouting at, screaming at the the coach in training. He was ref, yeah. like abusive sometimes, over the over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you see, you see when when that happened, were you the type to like go back the next day and see where you went wrong and just like you know what? Next time you played West Ham, what was, what was yeah, the no, you, you you go to the. Um, analyst guy and you say give me give me the clips mm, yeah. or but sometimes you, I don't know a lot of a lot of athletes have that photographic memory anyway mm. so I know mm. it's like you do a lot of that uh, boxing and stuff like that mm, yeah, contact mm, sport mm, yeah mm. if you have a round and you get caught in a round I'm yeah, sure yeah, when you're yeah, in your yeah, bed later you, yeah, you know what you've done wrong <laughs> at that point yeah, yeah, and you yeah, and, but, but then you go and work on it yeah same as football you you you, you know what you've done you mm. don't really need no one to tell you but sometimes you want to just see it visually mm. just to clarify it and but so that's what I would do normally like that you go. See, you just jumped in there with that question. You kind of threw Sorry, me. Man, this, okay. this, is this, is this is This is what we do. So you just bullied me on your. You, you told me. You told me it was my thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just goes, it's your up. thing. And it goes. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm Pete. Sorry, Pete. Pete. Of course I was. Of course I was. Of course I was. You think I don't do this yeah. just like you do? <laughs> How competitive are you? In everything, are you competitive like this with everything? Yeah. So yeah. we got. Um, have you, you ever heard of tech ball? It's like a ta like a table tennis, like a round table tennis. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, play yeah. football, in football yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got that in my garden, and my two boys, like fourteen yeah. and seventeen, we yeah. play that. They they don't beat me. Yeah, yeah. serious. Yeah. No, there's no yeah, none yeah, of that. Yeah, I'll let yeah, let your song win. No, 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 no. Forget all of that. I want tears. Yeah, yeah. I want tears on the other side of the table. I don't care. And they've always known that. They've always been like, we play two touch, whatever. If they beat me, like I I will cheat and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a win. It's a, it's a must win. Yeah, that's kind of what Anton mm. said about you as well. It's, 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 yeah, it's him even nature. when he was young, I never yeah, let him said, win nothing. I should, let, I should let his friend win. <laughs> yeah, no, he and said And you that. should go at home <laughs> and cry. I used, yeah, to, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I used to think <laughs> yeah. he's going to make you stronger. Yeah, uh, come on. Have you two competed in anything? Like any Not really. Because when, 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 when it comes to football and that, that you're no, getting that one. Forget that. That's a no-brainer. No, we compete in competing debates about Arsenal. Yeah, I'm used and he, he gets beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that that don't relax. That's that don't. That's not really fair though, because that's not really down to whether Rio is right or not. That's down to my team's performance. Okay, you know, okay. My team don't win the trophy at the end of the year because you said won, party was better than Casemiro. But if we had won the league, yeah, what, what right. do you reckon people would have been saying? That's because if, Arsenal. That's if, but yeah, so exactly, maybe. So yeah, that's work, because yeah. Arsenal didn't do the job they were supposed to do. Not did party. Yeah. Well, boy, you know yeah. what I mean. Who, who's winning? Who's winning the league this season? City. All right. Let's just take a moment, pay some bills. Um, Shout out Manscaped, the Weed Whacker 2.0, yeah. the Loom Mower 4.0. Mm. Make sure you get them. Use the code WINNERS, 20% discount. Yeah? Yeah. Free shipping as well. Use the code WINNERS. WINNERS. You've been using yours from time. Oh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a natural thing now. It's I've always been using mine from time. Roll out. And plus, on top of that, they got the boxes. They got the full man care package. You I'm get me? You. Summer's that, here. Yeah. Get your grooming on. Come Pat on. and nut. You know, make sure your 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 feel your move your stroke your stroke is stroking. Stroke is stroking. You understand? No Gallum's gonna be and no restrictions. Gallum's gonna you be me? loving you for it, bro. Trust me. The Gallum are gonna be onto you uh, differently, bro. And you're gonna just feel good in yourself. Hygiene is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like it's just took man's thing to a whole next level in terms of keeping man clean, fresh. Do you get me? And we all love a discount. 
All we all love a discount, twenty percent discount. All down to the lip balm I've been using. You yeah, know yeah, the yeah, yeah. The lip the, balm. I've got all of that. I swear all of that I've been using. The like that that rolls with me twenty four seven. Shampoo and conditioner. You name it. Manscape. Twenty percent. Twenty percent discount. And I can when you use the, the, the body winners. The body wash and everything plus free shipping. Proper. Yeah, Proper. no, no, it's, it's all a big official, long bro. tube with the no, no, squeezy official, thing. It official. just sits in the shower thing on the side. It's calm. You get me? Get involved. Take advantage of the situation. Twenty percent. Discount and free shipping when you use the code winners at manscaped.com. Where's it Arsenal? kills me. Where's Arsenal finishing? <laughs> Arsenal are third. Who's second? United. 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 United are second, bro. Where's, where's, hold on. Where's Liverpool? Where's Liverpool? <laughs> Fourth. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're, you're doing too what? much. You're what doing are you, so you looking for? Yeah, yeah. I, I want right, you to do this weekend week out on this show. Yeah, you might be right. I want you to do this week in, week out on this show. Just real, rip us. Real, real. No, <laughs> you meant a third. Real. I can't bit, see, not Arsenal, but Liverpool. You know, can I give you, just tell you what I think this about Arsenal, yeah? It's because Arsenal last season, you, you Arsenal fans, and the whole fan base, and probably the players and the manager, not for one minute before a ball was kicked, thought you would be challenging for the title no. from where you started. Where you finished the season before? Seventh? Yeah. Yeah. So, so there was no way it was on anyone's radar. Champions League, buzzing. That's what it would have been. To think that you went there is different, yeah? So now the season's starting, expectations on this squad is what they've never felt before. Mm. So I'm interested to see how you lot deal with that. You might deal with it, it. you it might finish. It no, no, you might because do I, well, I reckon, yeah? I reckon it's a McKin different expectation now. There's a target yeah, on and, your and back. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Everyone's saying that like, oh yeah, that's going to be you some sort of problem. You by surprise last yeah, season. Oh, yeah, you might have got 25 points because yeah. surprise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, quality, but, but I'll, I'll be, I was going to say, but I was going to say, but the quality, the quality is there now. The quality is there now. The teams ain't sitting there waiting now. No, 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 well, no, but at the end of the day, but we've gotten better as well. If you're looking at the likes of Declan Rice, Timber, if you're, we're no, actually no, no, I, I agree. Your your, your re recruitment has been unreal. You can't question it. Been, been efficient, early, mm. quick, Best the right players, like a great window. Yeah, I'm saying that. But what I'm saying, you can't account for a mentality. You said mentality before about the minds. You can't account for when there's an expect. Like for instance, okay, Declan Rice, never, never, ever, as good a player he is, I think he's top. And I think he'll do well at Arsenal. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, right? Mm. But he's never, ever, ever, ever gone into a season with a target on his back. No. Nah. Don't know, how, doesn't know what that is. So how's he going to react? Do we know? I he'll think he'll right. do well, but I none of us know. He'll be all right. Yeah, he's he's up, up for the challenge on, yeah, and, up and, and, and completing and the challenge is different. To get to the next level, he knows that this is the stepping stone that even if he went to United, if he mm. went to City, the target would have been on his back to perform, especially with the price tag and everything else. So mm. it's just because he's I, gone to Arsenal, it makes it, everyone's looking at it differently. But would we be saying the same thing if he went to United? Or would it be I, I think like the, 100%. He would be talking, he made but the best move. The price tag, you get what I'm saying? The price tag is the pressure. I think regardless of what Rio says, I think Man United, they, we're still not sure about I'm them. talking I'm about looking at their, I look at their yeah, yeah exactly I, mean, United, I, I can't, can't lie like, like, wait, wait a minute I'm looking at their goalkeeper and uh, yeah you know what I mean he's good with his feet and that but I was watching that Real Madrid game he's got a lot to learn still what do you mean you know what I mean in terms of what just, I'm just looking at him. I don't think he's as good as a shot stopper as David De Gea, for no. one. And I think David De Gea saved you guys many David De Gea points. is arguably the best yeah. shot stopper you know the in the world, though. You're, talking, you're, you're, you're judging him against the best yeah. shot yeah. stopper yeah. in the world. But, but yeah. you're going to need that because your defense has been leaky sometimes. You know, what I, you know how I yeah, describe that? Because yeah. last season, the ball just kept coming back at you now. Because they couldn't keep it. And they still got Maguire in that team as well. Do you know what I mean? So he when Grant gets an injury, when gets an injury, you know, he's going to have to step in. How I describe that keeper is in the games where De Gea won the game 1 0 for you, you're going to end the game 1 1. Mm. That's how I describe it. Risky. Not no, even just risky, but the hair when you lot was falling, like last, you look how many points he saved you lot last season to finish third. If you took them points away, you might as well have finished fifth. Do you get me? I think, I don't know, I ain't got that. He, ha he may have it. He might get there because he's a good yeah, keeper. They, they lost the ball a lot last season. That's, yeah. the that's the point. That's the point. That's the point. Yeah, yeah, that, oh, that's, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what. So that, I feel like he's gonna. So as a manager, be the as a manager, one. you don't think like, this is what a lot of people do, and I think as fans, a lot of fans do this. They look at the negatives before the positive. I'm guilty you, of it. You're just doing that with Arsenal now. I'm admitting it, bro. Why is your voice changing? The tone of man's voice just changed quick. I'm saying the same thing. Yeah. We we look at what's wrong. We're not having it. We look at what's wrong too much here but mm -hmm. Anana's a great case what he's going to bring with the ball oh, 100% we might have the ball and have a 10% at a time that means that other teams don't have as many mm -hmm. opportunities yeah, but you're going to need people who can handle it as well because if he whips the ball to wan and wan can't do anything with it then it's all pointless then isn't it why are you coming for wan yeah, because I, I see some highlight see some personal. highlight of you shooting earlier this morning you see what I put in the group and he just yeah but you saw it. the same thing with Havertz in training and the next game he bagged yeah you're Ooh. the one that <laughs> right, this one <laughs> Man United question Who's your front three this season? Oh, um, left Rashford. Yeah. 
if we get the new boy in number nine, oh, yeah, he's good, and then like Anthony, in it, it's got a plan, Anthony. Yeah. But no, Sancho, I was gonna say, where, where, but Sancho's Sancho? best position is on the left for me, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Rashford yeah. kind of owns that position yeah. there for you. Look, yeah, I'll play, play Sancho, I'll play Sancho. Right, where's Mount playing as one of the eights? You've got Bruno, Bruno, and Bruno there, Mount there, Casemiro there. Fierce. If you bring in Arab but Ericsson, Ericsson's going to play games as well because you need yeah, to keep yeah, the ball. Yeah, yeah. But if you bring in that Arab back, um, the he's Morocco, good. Yeah, when, who does he start over him up? Depends. I think on certain games, maybe it depends on who you're playing. I think though, in man. Premiership, you need two world class players in yeah, every yeah. position. Yeah, well, even if one's mm. going to be on the you need that. You need that. City's depth. No, so City's depth is nuts. So you so say so you you say you do yeah, like that yeah. Arsenal strengthen then if you're saying of course you strengthen. You just bought big ballers. The other day, <laughs> I, I, the other day, Man were talking like Arsenal will become weaker. No, you. No, I've never said that. Yeah. Do you remember you thinking someone else? You know he's gonna. Chat? You know, you know, you know <laughs> me. I never said that. How can you buy a strong, better players and not get stronger? Of course, you've got no, Arsenal's window. You have to say mm. it's been concrete. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, so, so you're a fan of Havertz, then, yeah? Yeah, I like Havertz. If, if he's played to, in the right position, hold on, hold on. if he's played in the right position, 100 percent for you. I think in that eight position, I think he will be, he'll be, do bits for you lot. Mm. Right. But the great thing about I think his biggest strength is his is his versatility. Play anywhere across the front three or the two midfield positions. All right, for you, who gets dropped for Havertz? For habits, I'll start him. Yeah, so who gets who's coming? Actually, no. To be fair, I'm chatting rubbish. Look, party, (laughs) party, rice, and um, Odegaard. 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 So you're going to change your system? What do you mean? Because you got you you play you playing two CDMs. CDMs. Yeah, I don't I don't mind. I don't mind if for if for example, party plays there. You can use Declan Rice as like a number eight. I think I think I think you I think that's the position he'll develop into. And also speaking to Danny Murphy, he said that he spoke to him. And without saying too much, but he's looking forward to That's switching his position there, a little yeah. bit. Mm, is it? Danny Murphy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> speak to Alan and Yeah, yeah. I spoke to Wenger and he said, yeah. That's what we do. He's got to show a fire with Anton and Flex. So, yeah. But, yeah, no, honestly, that's where you should expect to see him play, I think, for the long term in Arsenal. So, Havertz is a £60 million sub, then? That's what I would do. They're not going to do that, but if you ask me my opinion, that's what I would do. Obviously, I don't think they're going to. Who do you think they're going to drop? That's what was my I think. I think he's gonna go with. I reckon from the friendlies he's not, I've he's seen, not gonna he's gonna start, start with. He's gonna start with Part A, Rice, and um, a Part A, Havertz, and Odegaard. I, I think, don't think he does. I think that. I, I don't think he does. Rice that. is gonna come into the team, but I think what they're basing on is heavy rotation I don't think and people he's understanding that. the roles. I think Rice has. You saw it in the friendlies. He's got a lot to learn. Like in the way that Arsenal play, it's not like West Ham. West Ham, they can all drop in the bank. Exactly. He's not gonna, he's not gonna 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 think, I just think while he learns, I just think at the beginning, I think learn. at the beginning, while he learns, he's not gonna. That's not they, They're gonna split the minutes. Bro, I reckon Arsenal right. cannot yeah, pay a hundred mil. No, no, no. I'm just saying because like they're dropping, they're dropping party. Yeah, eventually they're gonna start right. The best midfielder in the Premier League, you said. You know, well, you know, you look all over the place. You don't even know what's really going on. Do you get this with Arsenal fans as well? Do you feel that as well? No, no, no. But everyone's all opinion based, isn't it? None of us actually really know what our team is. No, but some people's some some fan bases' opinions are like roller coasters. I wouldn't drop. But I wouldn't drop high. I wouldn't drop him. Why? Because I, because I think he's the best. You're too headstrong. Like, exactly. like, I would too drop stubborn. him, but I know that our, if ex- it's exactly what we said. You're not going to buy a 60 million man, a 100 million man, and then drop them. Mm. You're going you're to drop high, and you could see at the end of the season, he weren't even ahead of Jorginho. Mm-hmm. So okay. he's going to drop him, you start got good Rice. Depth now, anyway. The depth, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. only thing that's missing, who's the 20 goal a season, man? I asked my brother that. He's, all my family's gunners. Um, so I've got a bet right now. Yeah. Who's the 20 yeah. goal a season, Jesus man? gets 20 plus this season. Oh, come on. Man. But I didn't look. I didn't do it with chess. Your old brother's in there. I didn't do it with chess. I didn't do it with chess. Basically, how I got swindled into this bet was that we was arguing over strikers or in the group, and I just basically said- Bayers was shaking his head. Everyone was getting onto Jesus, and I said, you never know, he might pop up and stuff. Surprise, man, and get a pick. I love plus. him. I, I think, think he's, he's, he's great, great. But, but he's, he's, he's not. 20 he's not twenty. What about Balogun? I like him, man. I, like but I think he's is he better than Nketiah? Yeah, I think he's a better finisher. I ain't seen him play in the Premier League. <laughs> I, I, I saw his see. goals. I saw his goals. Like see. when you think Balogun scored <clears throat> goals all the way through, like the different age groups, like under twenty ones, under eighteen. Who's your front three? Do you know what? Do you know why you can't? Do you know why you can't say that? You can't ask that question yet, as well, Rios, because even though he did well in France, yeah. Someone correct me, but Lacazette was one of the top goal scorers in France last season as well. He different, was like, yeah, yeah so mm-hmm. it's like it's like those leagues where you see, obviously we want to see Sancho do well and stuff here yeah, because he's he's from South, but 
the Sancho that was in Dortmund yeah, ripping it yeah, up yeah, and yeah, yeah, you know it yeah, takes yeah. time to adjust mm. it takes you know what I mean there's loads of different factors mm. in different games so Central. I don't yeah. you, like, don't get me wrong I think Balogun is a good player and when he was coming through I always said oh I think he's actually better than Enketia but mm. what Eddie did last year when Jesus was injured nah man like we have to put some serious respect on his name so it's unfair to say we don't know yet mm, you so changed your tune your boy we don't know yet who's your front three then a front three Art Jericho I'd say Martinelli. I'd go Martinelli. You got Jesus, the money, Jesus, Saka. and Saka. It's Same easy. Yeah. But, I would, but you know I what? As well, I think, I think, I think, I mm. think, Arteta's got a Sano. dilemma. That's why they're gonna. I like Trossard. Tr- 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 Where does he put Trossard? Tr- no, bad, bad boy player. You see, bad boy player. You see Trossard as well. Proper player. What What I like about him is he's actually come and challenged, challenged Martinelli. Because yeah. I feel like there was a period where, don't get me wrong, like it was a bit, he started well in the season, mm. then he dipped a little bit um, just before the World Cup. Blah, blah, blah. Then when Trossard came in, that's why you need depth, man. And I think for me, and obviously we've still got Emil Smith Rowe, who had a fantastic tournament yeah. with England. Yeah. Um, and he was 21. And he looked, and he looked lively when he, he came on the other day. Mm, mm, I like him. Mm. So you get your two fun. Right, yeah. yeah, so so the depth is there. I'm, I'm even in defence, I'm, I'm not 100% <clears throat> sure about Gabriel. I never have been. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I like him. Kivio. Kivio, He's good. I was, I, was, I was very upset with him when he was fixing his boot last season when <laughs> when um, when that goal went in. Was it was it against Brighton? I can't remember. It was oh, a, was it? Was, oh, I thought you were horrible, talking about the Euro Open horrible. game. No, nah, no, nah, it was in the league. But So, yeah, Timber, I'm happy with that one there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, ben White, I think he had a good season last year. I think the depth is there. Um, that's why I reckon we'll finish second. Do you think you've got a top, top manager at the wheel? He's going to say yes because he's Man United related. No, I think based on what I'm seeing, like Man United, before he come in the place, yeah, Man United were lacking discipline. They were lacking like, like any consistency, any real style of play. Mm. Those things there have been looked after now. They're in a position where you're going, I can see the direction he's going in. Mm. There's discipline in their place. I see he's banned flip flops the other day. Like mm. he's just, he's, he's on a, he's a mad good, one. Is that a good I don't thing know, though? But all I'm saying is I like to see some sort of authority. Mm. I, I, I want to see where a player, listen, the two best managers have been in the, last, in the league the last five, six years. Pep Guardiola, Klopp, mm. them players can't chat to them. Them right. players cannot say, them, they can't turn their nose up or yeah. side eye them managers because they won't play. Sit on the bench, shut mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. That weren't going on at Man United mm-hmm. for a long time. Whereas now, I see a young player getting into some stupidness on the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, ill discipline the other oh, day. Yesterday, yeah, 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 yeah. And the manager brought him off before half time. But mm-hmm. you see him, he didn't just bring him off and say shit him. He brought him off and was t- telling him, listen, you can't do this. And mm-hmm. this, you're going to learn from this, blah, blah, blah. So that's, the, I like that. Yeah. I like to see it. The, and I see improvement. That's all I might say. But I thought, I thought it was good. I, I know what you're talking about. Um, United player, he was arguing with that Adeyemi guy from Dortmund. I feel like he showed a bit of passion. Obviously, the, the manager said, no, you shouldn't be but doing that. But the point that, is, but... he weren't arguing. He was telling him. Yeah. That's it. Mm. This is what goes on. That's it. But are you let's go back to the flip flop thing really quickly. Yeah, mm. you didn't like it when Capello. Did you say was he a little bit tight on you, lot Capello? No, he didn't. He didn't get let us have like um, tomato ketchup, and like, oh, I don't. I don't, I don't even I eat tomato ketchup. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. What's, what's that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't like, even. That's or, just or, unnecessary or, stuff, though. Or butter. Mm-hmm. But, but my thing was, on, what's that to keep everyone in shape? You don't want to. Uh, yeah, but, but, but my thing was, yeah, we're there for five days. Yeah. This ain't changing my life. Yeah. Five days here yeah. of doing what you're saying in terms of nutrition ain't changing my life. Yeah, we'll so back to give, give us a back. program for life yeah. or that we take with us. Mm-hmm. Don't say you're not having this, you're not having that, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So it was a little bit petty from our side. But the flip flop thing, there might be some science behind it, as it might be in oh, terms of your Achilles. Or, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> she said they were oh, the one, you know the one that goes between the two. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Bias is so strong. That's no, 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 no. Bias. Bias. You know what? You know what? I don't, I don't oh, want you to wear. It don't look right, statement. and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It don't look right, and no, I'm not I hear having you, it. I hear you, I now hear we used you. to go to airports. Yeah, you see, when I was when I, in our team, mm. you could not see us in the airport in a tracksuit. Mm. Yeah. When Man United travel. Yeah, suit, suit and tie. Suit and tie. Yeah. Like yeah. So you're setting the tone. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. and it might be that type of thing with flip flops. They it look too be. raggedy. It I don't want be. them. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that no. makes. I think it's probably more to do with that. Mm. Do you think? Hend- what do you think about Jordan Henderson going to Saudi? And do you do you wish you would have been you had been able to nick some of that Saudi Bruv, money? If I was playing now, yeah. I would be in Saudi. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah, no yeah, two yeah. ways Come about on. it. Yeah. Generational <laughs> wealth. Generational yeah, setting yeah. up generations. Yeah, yeah. There's no man that could tell me they're not going in any industry. If a man said to you, you're gonna treble, uh, quadruple 10 times your money mm. when your career is almost done as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
you can't tell me a man's going to say no because they've got a few issues in their country. I'm not going. What country ain't got issues? That's right. Yeah. True. But, um, and we're talking like, so the energy that I see with Messi, mm -hmm. with Rooney, with Gerard, with Lampard, with mm -hmm. Beckham, when mm -hmm. they, Robbie Keane and all their men mm -hmm. go into America, is very different to the energy I'm seeing. Yeah. Mane, mm -hmm. uh, Benzema, Ronaldo, it's going to Saudi. Why? What, uh, America That's a much right. better country. Yeah, it's true. Right. It's real. Yeah, mate, I'll, be, I'll be doing that Stephen Gerrard. She is she in like, yeah. I'm <laughs> gone. I will be there. Gone. I'm there. Yeah, I can't yeah. say I'm there. 100%. Yeah. And you know, you know what? It's an, it's an adventure for these guys, man. They don't yeah. know what they're going into. Like, it's an yeah. adventure. I've been to Saudi, yeah? Mm -hmm. Bruv, I enjoyed my time there when I went mm -hmm. there. Like, and these guys are going to are taking their families. They're going to have an adventure. It's an experience mm. for their families that they will never forget. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 A lot of them are staying in, like their families are staying in Bahrain or something where it's a bit more freer up for them. Yeah, I don't even think you need to. I swear, when yeah. I went there, uh, people were talking about it's like Qatar. We're in Qatar. I mean, Every nice. country's got the issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. at least they were in Qatar for a month. There, was, yeah, yeah we, I stayed there for five weeks. Yeah, like yeah. didn't even come back. Like I was there for like, and I went a few months before. And right. I've been in Saudi a couple of times as well. Mm. You go there and they treat you nicely. Like they, from, this is my experience, by the way. They're there, they protect the women. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. all of that kind of stuff. Like I would take my little one to Qatar. Like yeah. I would take my little one yeah. out there. Like, because like the education systems are proper. Like they're really, and they're open to listen to people in it. I just don't think that some people like it when other people from other countries are coming and saying, you're going to do this and you're going to mm. do that. Which I don't think anyone... You wouldn't yeah, want to do, come in a man's No one in this it. country would like that either. Yeah. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I think approaches as well is a massive thing. Uh, I don't. I think the communication needs to be better. But we're talking like England's perfect. Exactly. Yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. like America's perfect. Yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah, like yeah. the Western world is perfect. It ain't. We got yeah. problems as well. We got yeah, issues. Yeah. We're the ones that want to go places and tell people what to yeah, do. Yeah, it's mad to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. I think we're we're, we're good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just in and out, in I know Rio's gonna go do a personal one for you guys soon. This was a light one. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I'm ready. I watch it, man. So I watch it. I said to him on the train before, mm. like I've got a newborn now, so I'm up at mad times mm. yeah. watching podcasts, catching up with what you lot I do. So that. it's good, man. Yeah, but listen, good. before we go, the real promo man that I am, make sure that you're watching Vibe with Five, which starts. I probably might as well say next week because this is coming out at a particular time. So. Mm. Make sure you subscribe to Five, like, share, comment. We're getting footballers all over the world coming in, different shows. We're mixing the football world with culture. We're trying to do something completely different. Harry panero has um, got a sick show as well. Yeah, Harry Panero. Yeah, we've got the likes of Harry Panero on there now. We've got mm -hmm. Flex as well. Anton as well, who's on the station. We've got different ex-pros coming on as well. And just sick content, man. So please make sure you watch.